So I'm eating this watermelon and I'm talking about the 13 monkey. And I want to know, do you actually know what a nega is? Cause a lot of times we talk about negas. And, but my whole thing is, do you actually know what a nega is? Because if you knew what a nega was, you wouldn't be so quick to chat the shit. Know what you doing. That's all I'm saying. Know what you saying and know what you doing before you just willingly participate and subscribe your energy to some shit. Know what you doing before you participate and subscribe your energy to shit. I don't know, man, nigga. I don't know you, nigga. I don't know, nigga, that shit you talking about. Clarify some things for me. I have a right to ask questions. Cl clarify some things for me. So that, you know what I'm saying? So let's talk about Nagas. Let's talk about Nagas, goddammit. Why we talking about this shit? Because this is what a Nagai is. A Nagai is pure energy of a geographical location. That feeds off of and, and primarily feeds off of and preys on human emotions. The emotions of mortals. And they 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 can come through the psychic stream or through the emotional stream. Negas. And um and some of them are good and some of them are bad, like everything. You know. Not like everything, but like most things, there's a yin yang to the negas too. Them niggas ain't all the way good. You got a few badass negas out there. You know what I'm saying? Just evil. And um, so, but with the negas, is that the ones that are evil, they prey off of fear or envy or jealousy or anger, those low vibrational energy synergies. They frequencies they pick up on it, and and that's what feeds the energy signature of the nega that allows the nega to go from pure energy to coming into its nega form. So they feed off the energy of the mortals, and then they actually feed off the mortal. Now, how did the thirteen sun become a nega? Now, during the uh, the Vietnam War. I was Huey P. Newton in that time space continuum, Black Panthers. And I specifically told the 13th son as Huey P. Newton in that time space continuum as a Black Panther. Do not go to the Vietnam War. I specifically told him, do not go to the Vietnam War. I specifically told him, do not go to the Vietnam War. He did not hear to that wise counsel. He did not listen to the voice of God. He did not listen to the to the counsel of wisdom. He went to the war. He ended up killing some innocent people out there. And, it, and as a result of that, he inherited the curse of the Naga. He became a bad Naga, not a good Naga. He became a bad Naga. You got good Nagas and you got bad Nagas, man. Period. This nigga is not a good Naga. Just because you talk about not eating meat don't mean your ass don't eat meat, nigga. Man, I 
So what happened was, was that he inherited the curse. He had to go to a hot climate in order for him to survive. So he went to Miami. He can no longer feed in the United States. So he feeds in Brazil. And this is what they guys are. All right, like just imagine that you in the movie. Uh, we're well, not you, but imagine you're watching the movie. And in the movie, let's just say hypothetically speaking, there's a couple that's in Hawaii. They on Hawaii. They in they they in Hawaii, and um, and they're uh vacationing and shit. They didn't saved up their little fiat knows and they out there and they vacationing and. This not. And what happened is they hear a noise. Now this is the Naga. Like Nagas run like whole districts, like territory. So the whole north side of Hawaii might be the energy center of this Naga. The south side of Hawaii might be the energy center of this Naga. You know what I'm saying? Or all Hawaii might be the energy center of this Naga, but certain Nagas are allowed to feed in certain zones. You know what I'm saying? And but everything down here on this earth belongs to Anu, Lord Anu, me. Anunnaki, An Anu means sky, Aki means earth. Anunnaki, when you put it together, it means the noble gods of the earth and the sky. You know what I'm saying? The sky and the earth. So. What happens is. Is that. Because he killed innocent people. He inherited the curse. Of the Naga. Just like certain motherfuckers. Can kill innocent people. And inherit the curse of the werewolf. You can't kill innocent blood. And think that you ain't going to get nothing. Don't let the niggas in the movies lie to you. You can't kill an innocent motherfucker for, for no reason. And think that it ain't going to be no repercussions to that shit. No. There's things. Repercussions to, to life in this game called life. This really is a fucking Matrix game. And there's repercussions to taking an innocent life, man. Do you know how much is how much thought... And energy and everything is put into a human life. You can't just go and kill a human and think that you ain't going to get no consequences. There's curses for your eyes for shit like that. So, you're watching a movie. And let's just say that... The couple is on the beach and they hear a noise. That's the Naga. Nagas are just pure energy. So that's they're the energy of the north side of Hawaii. All the mountains, the 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 or they, they hide out in tropical areas. That's where Nagas live. They live in tropical shit. Tourist attractions and shit. Jamaica. Uh, California, Miami, shit where it's, you know, hot climax and palm trees, tropical shit. They live in hot areas with tropical shit, vacation spots and shit, ports and all of that. So what happens is, is that they hear a noise and they go and investigate this shit. So they go beyond the rocks and they go into the to like the forest area and they looking and shit and then the girls speak to dude like yo I feel weird they getting scared now the nigga is pulling them in he's he's first messing with their mind telling them go into the woods look investigate that sound he makes a little sound and try to create something to bring them in then he goes through the emotional streams and he tries to manipulate them to to want to go and investigate it so he's pulling them in through the mental and emotional streams. This is how Nagas work. And he's trying. The Nagas is trying to get into the energy body of the Nagas. 
so that he can feed on the human. You see what I'm saying? But he can't do it unless they fear. They got to have a certain measure of fear in order for him to actually, that they got to, to come out of pure energy and metamorphose into a physical nega body. You see? So, so then he starts rattling the trees and shit. The nega energy signature rattles the trees trying to get more fear out of their ass. And the girl grabs her dude like, yo, I'm, you know what I'm saying? She, she tells him that she feels uh, uh, spooked and that she finna leave. And then they fucking turn around and then they start walking. She like, walk faster. And they walk a hella faster. And it's that moment of just complete fear that the nega show up instantly. Nega just all that energy comes into a nega form, a nega body. And the nega bodies are reptilian forms. Now you have three types of negas. You got air negas, celestial negas with wings. They got multiple heads and they can spit poison. You got water negas who um who are in reptilian form with multiple heads and can spit poison. And you got land negas who don't have wings but they're in reptilian form and they got multiple heads. This is the multiple headed snake. All right, and um, so the nega appears in a snake form and feeds on the human and feeds feeds on the humans. The blood shed on the land is what soothes and calms the spirit of the nega and allows that nega to maintain that zone, that area, the evil nega too. This is what Nagas is, man. Evil Nagas. You got good Nagas who are there to uh, to police and protect <coughs> the uh, the affairs of Messiahs and Buddhists. Thirty one ninety six.